Dear Federation, First, this is something long suspected, the message within Gosia's video, Truth About Federation Extraterrestrial Communication. Prior to this information, we have long understood our leaders to act without honor and to mostly be unreasonable. Most of us, perhaps childishly, hoped that at some point, or at some level, we would be able to have serious discussions with a responsible party of high integrity. How grateful we must be to find yet another hierarchy of control that misrepresents its position and conceals its true purpose. This situation compares with the fractal virus that reportedly invaded this universe. We have growth of an idea that swallowed whole civilizations and which became institutionalized to an extent at a galactic level that is seemingly cannot be opposed nor resisted. Whole institutions and civilizations support and promote the fractal idea, for blindness within the host is part of how the virus works. What is the idea? Birth through trauma, with attempted control motivated through fear. Because we all understand fear to be a projection of possible future trauma, where fear is produced due to not healing past trauma, the central idea becomes the necessity of trauma. This is merely an MK Ultra program working at galactic level. You must suffer and then rise above the suffering. The Federation admits this trauma to be unacceptable at some level, at which point they accept some role to reduce the torture of children in underground cities, perhaps altruistic, or halt nuclear war, perhaps for self-interest. The idea that some parameter must be exceeded prior to the Federation's active correction leads one to question how much they really control or how much they understand what really is going on here, or to question the motives intended to be addressed by these parameters, or the suitability of the parameter values that somehow cause the Federation to occasionally perform active intervention, and occasionally not. It seems difficult to argue that the Federation's role is any different than the farming of resources carried out by the breakaway civilizations where humans farm their own people, whom they intentionally deceive, abuse, and control. A defense the Federation might suggest that they are merely farming growth of their own star seeds or farming a new race still admits that they are farming. Their intent is to isolate the playground out of fear that the farmer might otherwise be hurt during this process. We are isolated because they fear the product of the birthing process within the system they manage until they can confirm that what is produced is sufficiently safe to them. Are we not sovereign until they determine we are safe? As the practices are similar, differing only at scale, it seems that the Federation would like to see us resolve this practice of abusive farming here in 3D, when the Federation refuses to end the practice there. It appears the human race is your fractal after all. We admit that we have many deep societal issues that remain to be addressed, and accept that at some level we may be self-inflicting trauma through manifesting our collective egregors. Our disappointment relates to discovering yet another control system where discussions appear to be asymmetric and not in good faith. We accept that benevolent races with good intentions may view these controls as necessary out of fear of a young civilization that has not yet learned to control itself. However, one, this, this system is a trauma-based birthing, and two, the fact that the Federation views the system as necessary merely speaks to the fractal virus that invades their thinking. They are afraid of what is produced and must control it through deception until they can determine it to be safe to them. If an honest question cannot be tied to an honest answer, then only the degenerates can enjoy the conversation. The Federation is not dissolved of karma at the galactic level for managing a trauma-based birthing where management decisions to impose control are based on fear and use deception. This must stop. Civilizations attempting to hold the governance position of 3D Earth must grow beyond the mechanics of this mindset and halt such trauma-based farming of resources. This is ultimately self-destructive. The creation will eventually rise up in opposition. Is this not reminiscent of human 3D trauma-based programs where each is presented the false choice to participate in the programs or to pretend the programs do not exist. Note that some high-dimensional benevolent races in good conscience oppose these practices by the Federation. The human race joins them. 
we agree that in some cases it seems appropriate to engineer challenges such that one can learn, grow, and rise above. However, no person in this 3D world will agree that the best teachers intentionally deceive, abuse, or hold the student back until the teacher finally approves of that student's behavior. The teacher has no authority to impose one's will upon the student. The teacher cannot continue to argue until the student simply agrees. That is not teaching. That is imposition of control. If your concern is your safety, then we can be honest about referring to 3D Earth as a penal colony and not a school. It seems the Federation wishes to take responsibility to manage the outcome, but take little responsibility for classroom management. This means the system rewards bullies, where terrorized students, or merely those that do not wish to fight bullies, can learn almost nothing in the class other than how to respond to bullies. What a waste of time becomes art, or music, or science, or biology, or any class unrelated to learning how to respond to bullies, because every class becomes a responding to bully class. The current 3D Earth system is hardly meritorious. The rules are not told and are misrepresented and in practice are arbitrary and selectively enforced. The individual with a higher level of understanding is disadvantaged in a system that actively promotes degenerate thinking. Information provided is vague, irrelevant, and intentionally misleading. Feedback from the system actively promotes self-destructive behavior. Good students are actively targeted for removal, such that good examples cannot propagate. In contrast, deception is not necessary to teach nor to manage. It might be a convenient short-term trick, but betrays the integrity of the deceiver and undermines the relationship with the deceived. After deep study and somewhat successful navigation of this school, we learned several things. One, it is possible to create highly oppressive, but highly stable systems. Two, all institutions are relatively easily corrupted, most likely also true of the Federation. Three, authorities of any kind are likely unworthy of trust. Four, accumulating trauma and excessive healing leads to degenerative cycles. Five, excessive controls often leads to self-destructive behavior. Six, when all hope is lost, one can mind fracture to adapt or reach enlightenment by refusing to play the game. At some level, these might be interesting lessons, but they're hardly novel or insightful. Our learning efficiency here is poor, as so much of our effort here is utterly pointless. These lessons do serve to wash us all in trauma, however, which I suppose is something the Federation sees high value in continuing. As a parent, I wish for none of these lessons upon my children, but accept that other cultures might make a different choice and realize that as children become adults, that these become essential lessons for survival if their environment is like we have in 3D Earth. Unfortunately, because so much here is trauma upon children, these are lessons to be learned by children, not adults, which the human race finds socially reprehensible infliction upon the defenseless innocent. This must stop. A concern exists that the Federation has chosen to make deals and interact with the sociopathic 1% of the population that operate criminal organizations. Such preferential treatment to favor and promote the worst portions of our society is highly curious. The fact that criminal behavior temporarily escapes enforcement by our own laws does not grant these human leaders such positions of entitlement. If our laws are relevant, then sharing information and technology and establishing trade agreements with these criminal organizations would be classified as aiding and abetting. The result is a mind fracture of the entire human consciousness. The Federation's choice to interact directly with the 1% sociopathic criminals fortifies their position into that of dominance, where those in the know reclassify the unaware as resources to be exploited. We have found the most efficient farming through imposing institutions that function on deception and betrayal, where the sole role of any authority is to deceive and manipulate. No honor is to be found here. I would never wish my children to be successful in such a system by becoming the deceiver nor to be governed by the low consciousness and weak minds that impose controls. Yes, we will eventually burn this system down, for allowing it to continue is a moral wrongdoing. We should be concerned if the Federation believes such a trauma factory to be a necessary institution, and if they believe their role in perpetuating the horror is without accountability. 
I suppose it is possible that all of this is a reflection of myself, and that these lessons speak to my inner failings. If so, then I prefer to pursue my own internal values without the final approval of some remote authority, the Federation, that does not honestly represent its role in my world. Are you sure the Federation's role in managing this school will be a good basis for our future relationship post-ascension? Graduation will not have us look back on this school fondly with nostalgia, as so much of it is just so pointless. Must one live in a sewer before concluding that one does not enjoy living in a sewer? The fractal virus suggests that healing from trauma is synonymous with growth, but that is an unfortunate perversion. Healing from trauma is called healing, where we eventually unmake, transform, and remove past experiences that do not serve us. Disturbingly, the system has all the characteristics of grooming, a simple mind control technique where after sufficient trauma, that which would innately be rejected is now accepted as normal, and through conditioning, the abused will eagerly embrace any possible alternative where the alternative is engineered to be offered. Such practices are morally reprehensible, but are quite effective. We similarly see repeated examples of mind control techniques creating Stockholm Syndrome, where prisoners eventually embrace and defend their captors as parental authorities. Is the Federation practicing grooming to secure a new trading partner? We will grow beyond this current 3D limitation. Karma becomes significant at the galactic level when we, as participants, do not accept the Federation's actions in governance of this 3D Earth as necessary or beneficial. Here in our 3D world, we know that the lie is different at every level. That is used for control, compartmentalized deception. A charitable interpretation would be, truth is a matter of perspective, which appears to be that which is asserted by the Federation. Unfortunately, that is untrue. Deception is based on intent. Where the Federation intends to deceive, it merely advocates for its own reduced role due to being untrustworthy. We agree that the answer may be different, based on one's perspective, but we are concerned within a corrupted relationship that we might not receive an honest answer in response to our honest question. When you discover you have taken an oath that is immoral or performed an act that you now understand to be a wrongdoing, you are immediately obligated to take corrective action. Karma applies to the Federation, its institutions, and its participating civilizations. As a participant and representative, here on 3D Earth, it is suggested that you verify your wishes to receive the blessings and rewards in accordance with your actions to farm resources from 3D Earth in this free will universe using trauma-based birthing with your management actions motivated by fear. This likely will be a difficult lesson for many infected with the fractal virus who deeply believe the necessity of birth through trauma with attempted control motivated through fear. Such beliefs result from infection by that idea. Our duty and purpose is to grow beyond such small thoughts. The universe it produces is so small. Our worlds and our relationships could instead be so much greater, brighter, and more vibrant. If you wish to discuss further the merits of our differing points of view, I'm willing to meet under the condition that my veil of forgetfulness is removed and I no longer and do not consent to living under such a veil. Since the Federation appears to be running everything, you could certainly make that happen. Otherwise, we will get back to our 3D lives in which nothing is new after the Tigetan message. We are on our own, and we live under multiple levels of control hierarchies in which all answers have questionable motives, and integrity is scarce because positions are intentionally misrepresented.